Good morning. I'm Brother Eddie Coleman with the Tornado Apostolic Church. Welcome to our morning devotion. We was talking about the importance of church. You know, at one time, church was the biggest part of everyone's life, and it meant something. Yesterday, we read from Luke 4, 16 through 21, and it talked about where the Lord went to church and said he went there on every Sabbath. Uh, he was at the church and the reading of the word and, and you know how important it was. Even the Lord, he gave us that example. Well, we're going to continue where we left off. Unfortunately, we've come to a time and a generation that doesn't put as much value in the church or the role of pastors in their lives. And that's true. So many churches has emptied up. For many, the church has become just another institution. Far too many people in this generation view the church as something that is optional or an incidental part of their life. Many profess to belong to a church, but see no problem at all in distancing themselves from the beliefs of that church. It shouldn't be that way. Listen, outside of family, the church is the most important institution in your life. Church isn't the local theology club, and it isn't like belonging to a special interest group. This is the church. What goes on there here matters more than what happens at the local ball field. And that is true. What happens here has more impact on your life than what happens at work. What is going on here matters more than what is going on in politics or across the world. The church is essential to the salvation of your soul. You need a pastor in your life. You need a man of God that would declare to you, thus saith the Lord. You need a place where you can gather together with people of like precious faith and be encouraged in your faith. You need a church. Jesus went to a church. We don't know a lot about the early years of the life of Jesus. The scriptures are mostly silent concerning the years between his birth and the beginning of his public ministry. But we do know that he went to church because at 12 years old, where did his parents find him? He was at the synagogue talking with those men at the church. But that didn't stop him from going. It was his custom to be at church, one of the most visible signs of the Christian faith is the gathering together of believers for worship and mutual encouragement. Those meetings matter. Church matters, not just because or about worshiping together and hearing the preacher, but it's also a place of encouragement, encouraging each other and helping each other make it through this life. Church is where the fountain of your soul is replenished and you find the refreshing that sustains you in a day-to-day -day living. Later, when you were removed from the synagogues, they be continued to go to the church, sometimes in houses, sometimes in places of business, sometimes in a building that was maybe used for other things, but became the house of God when the church came together. They went to church, and they had church. Time and experience show, have shown that when a believer's faith begins to slip and the fire begins to burn low, this condition is often evident by a loss of commitment to the community of worship. When folks begin to grow old in the Lord, one of the first things that happens is that they begin to find reasons to miss church. It becomes evident that the church doesn't matter as much as it once did. Did a dangerous place 
this is a dangerous place to be in because the church is here to strengthen your faith. Today, we find that the times of coming together and encouraging one another at church and worshiping, singing, you know, those days are seem to be bygone, but they shouldn't be. Because the church is here to encourage each and every one of us. The church is here so that our fellow believers can help you on your journey. We help each other. When you miss church, you rob yourself of all those resources. This is what Paul said in Hebrews 10.25 not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another and so much the more as you see the day approaching. What day was he talking about? The day that we're in. Because we all need church. Church really does matter. When we least feel like being here is when we need to be here the most. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for our place of worship. We thank you for your love. We thank you, Lord, for such an opportunity. We realize there are so many that have not this opportunity. So we want to be thankful, Lord, and give you all the praise and the glory and the honor. Thank you, Lord. God bless this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, we hope and trust you'll have a Wonderful day in Jesus Christ today.